Hey there neighbors, welcome to CG Family Farm. In appreciation for you guys being here today, we're going to give you a nice little satisfying time lapse video of us with our Branson subcompact tractor pulling out a few little stumps around the land. So this will be subcompact tractor usage number 26. We're trying to do a little series for you guys because I can't stress enough how useful it is to have a little tractor around the piece of land that we bought. Especially if you have a land that was raw, you know, that whenever you bought it, it was woods, it was brush, and you had to pretty much redo the whole land in order to build your house on it. Tractors is a must to have. It's quite of an expense, this little tractor right here, this Branson 2400, actually cost me around $22,000 here in the Southwest uh, Georgia area. So, a um, little bit on the higher expense, but still, definitely worth it for me, and that's why I'm trying to do this series, so I can show you guys what all they're capable of doing. Today, we're going to do a little time lapse of how we're going to take, we're going to get rid of all these stumps, because I've been trying to mow this yard, and it gets irritating every time you go around one of these stumps, and you either end up almost hitting it, or whenever you try to go around it, you end up with a big brush that over grows eventually anyway so we need to get rid of them and that's why we're going to use this tractor it's a little sunny out so i'm gonna change hats and then we're going to get started
So as you can see, it can be able to pull out a few little tree trunks that are about, I'm gonna say about two, three inches in diameter. That's about as big as these were. Every now and then we bumped into one that was about four or five. And it definitely can pull it out, except if you notice, the technique into it is about digging your way on each side downward about a foot foot and a half on each side leaving it very narrow and that way you get down to the to the very middle root these little trees that we have right here they're mainly were rooted long ways we didn't really find that many that were rooted downward but i have ran into those and when they're rooted downward it's up to you whether you go all the way to like two feet down digging on the side and then finally pull it out or sometimes what I've done in the past is I actually grab either a chainsaw or a hacksaw and I'll just get right down to the middle of it, cut it, and pull it right out and bury it back down. It never really comes back out once it's uh, cut down to like two feet into the ground. So different little options, but like I said, these little tracks right here, they're very handy. They're not as powerful as a big excavator, of course. And I know an excavator will probably knock these little stumps out in half the amount of time that I'm doing it. But I enjoy being out here. I enjoy working on a tractor. And I enjoy turning this little piece of land of mine into my little dream piece of land. And that's what it's about, neighbors. I know you could spend $30,000, $50,000 on an excavator and make this easy. But enjoy the process. Be out here. Enjoy the sun. And enjoy the weather. Enjoy the outdoors. And get to working on your land and making it your dream land. Um, the time lapse. It's going to continue just a few more minutes. I hope you're enjoying it. And then here at the end, I'll give you one more little tip that I have for you guys. So I hope y'all stay tuned to the very end. All right. A few more stumps to go and then we'll be ready. too bad we got a few little stumps knocked out even though i got a few more to go i still promised you guys i was going to give you a little trick about how to use this little tractor when it comes to knocking out some little tree stumps right so sometimes i know we have to help out our neighbors and that means that we have to be a little bit time efficient we're out there doing the job so i'm going to show you real quick how i do it so we can move along a little quicker and that way you can save time and not have to get off the front of your tractor get it to the back dig a little bit get to the front move it again you can actually do it from just being back there in the back of the seat. All right, let me show you. So we begin with bringing down our backhoe bucket. Then you start lifting up your jacks. And since we're moving forward, you wanna lift your front bucket off the ground. 
Now you start extending your backhoe arm outward and your tractor moves forward. Now it takes time and practice to actually get it to do it smoothly and I'm still working on it myself but let's try it again. Down with the backhoe arm and then outward. It does advance a few feet so it does help out to make a job quicker and easier. Now you can put your jacks back down and you're ready to work. Now if you want to move the opposite way it's just as easy. You move your bucket off the ground you lift your jacks up and then with your arm fully extended outward you start digging into the ground and pulling yourself back depending on the angle of your arm is how your tractor may tilt one way or the other so that's something you may have to play around with let's try it once again you got your arm fully extended outward push down on the back of arm and start curling it inward as you can see this time my arm was a little too far at one angle and that's why I'm at a slope so I put my jacks down and I can start extending my arm outward to level myself out but I have gained a few feet so I can reach my job site and there it is guys so that's my little trick when it comes to being time efficient when I'm helping out my neighbors out there in their houses and trying to get their land cleared up just like I did to mine right so I hope you enjoyed this little time last video guys and on a later video stay tuned because on the next one we're going to show you how we're going to pick up all those little tree trunks we dug up right we got to still clear that out so we can actually mow so make sure you subscribe and you share this video with somebody else because if you don't make the decision to buy a tractor maybe somebody else will and they'll be able to help you out right so that's what counts guys share the videos hope you enjoy them and until next time have fun.